I've got a letter from Mr. Ralph. Ah, oh, yes, find him inside. Town. How'd you go, Lang? Blue. You are, Lang. She's ready to sing for you, know? No, I've had enough. You take her around, Tommy. Okay. Leave it to me. Right. Thanks. You come for a trial? Yes, I've got a letter from Mr. Rowton. Here he is. Who are you? I'm Bill Fox. You sent me this letter. Hmm. Can you ride? Yes, I think so. Bring your leathers? No, I haven't got any. Well, you can't ride without them. Don't worry, kid. Hey, Pat, let's have them leathers and boots, will you? Hey, Tommy, do you want a boot? Nah, I can do it in my stocking feet. Any calls for me, Tappy? You take them. When you're out there, remember, you got a clutch and a throttle, no gearbox and no brake. Now drive around the bend. Don't throttle back. The slower you go there, the more you drift out. Hey, look, just watch Tommy. <laughs> well, not quite like that. <laughs> Something go wrong? Back there, a mouse kicked me. Uh. Take it easy, Dig, and don't try and break any records. No. Hey, Tap, give us a hand, will you? Go ready? Yep, right. Let's go. Don't throttle back, young fool. Give it a handful. You all right, kid? Uh, yeah, I'm all right, I'm all right. How's the bike? Oh, don't you fret about the bike, Buck. What do you think? He'll do. Hey, Fox, get some practice. I'll put you in an officer's race, Friday fortnight. been taking rather a lot of time off lately. Three afternoons last week, two the week before. Failed to come in on Saturday morning. Consistently refused overtime. Well, I had some private, private business. I know. 
I'm afraid our views on business don't coincide. Sorry, folks. Perhaps your next employer is a bit less exacting. Tell you what, sis. If I'm not back by Christmas, you come out and fetch me. Spain. It isn't as though it's a real war. It's a real war, all right, Dad. If we really had any business out there, we'd have marched in months ago and sorted out the lot. Yeah, I know. I'll send down a couple of gunboats. You're always saying the army made a man of you. Yeah. Hey, That was the British army. There's no resemblance. Hey, Ma, I shan't want those. It's hot in Spain. But you might need them when... Supposing you're out all night. I don't forget, if anyone should ask you, I've only gone to Paris for the weekend. No international brigade, see? I won't forget. That's all right, I'll go. What are you going to bring me back? You ought to do something about her, Ma. She's a gold digger. I'm not. Anyway, what's wrong with being a gold digger? You ought to know. You're back early, Bill. Mm-hmm. What's wrong? I've got my cards. Your cards? Here. What you been up to? Nothing. You know what it's like down at that place. They treat you fair, Bill. Got an hour's notice. Oh, well, it's about time you left that blind alley job in here. They must have had some reason. If you must know, it's because I took some time off. What for? Oh, I think I know the speedway. They're, they're going to put me in a race. Race? And you lost your job through it. <laughs> yeah, you might have. I might have known it. Must have been daft letting you have that motorbike in the first place. Both of you. You both need your brains tested. It isn't a crime, is it, to take a couple of afternoons off? Right. I don't know how we're going to manage. I don't know what we'll do. Ah, oh, come on, Ma. Don't look so worried. It spoils your face. I simply can't understand it. What's the matter with everybody? The old lot's gone blooming mad. Sorry about the job. What are you going to do? Well, if I win the novices, I shall be started. You're going to go at it seriously? Well, why not? OK, if that's what you want. Yeah, there's money in it. More I shall learn anywhere else. Yeah. What's this for? Might come in handy. Thanks. Dick, how long do you think it'll last? I don't know, maybe quite a while. Bill, stick close to home while I'm gone, will you? And try not to worry, Ma. She's worried enough already about me. But there's just one other thing. I know what you're going to say. Well, it might happen. And if it did, you've got to be here. You know. <laughs> well, we shan't want that thing anymore, shall we? Ma says you want mustard on your sandwiches? Blimey, look at that hairdo. I think she's enormous here. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Congress supporters. Tonight, we meet the Wexford Wildcats in the National League match and extend a hearty welcome to the team and their supporters. You may recall that on our last visit to Wexford, the Wildcats gave us a moment. Tonight, the Cobras are all set to strike back. Now, here are some supporters for the announcement. There'll be a dance at Powers Premier Hall on Thursday next. Tickets two and sixpence, or only one and sixpence to give you your membership card. So come along and have a real good time with your favorite rider. Signed photographs of your favorite rider can be obtained at the Supporters Club entrance, price sixpence. Guards and berries in the club colors, and pennants for your motorcycles can all be obtained at reasonable prices.
This evening marks the reappearance of Lag Gibbon, the skipper of the team. Lag tells us he's now fully recovered from his recent leg injury. So now let's have that good old mark mark. Ready now, all together. Two, four, six, was Tommy Posse in 60.4 seconds. Second, Tiger Phelps. Third, Gus Bolton. You'll be pleased to know that Lang Gibbon was not seriously hurt, but will be riding again in heat five.
get what lad taught to. Where is he? Gone in, I think. Is that about enough? Do you stop now? Okay, I'll get out front. Stay there, right? We'll cheer for these boys. They are the stars of tomorrow. you up on that fence just like that. But I won, didn't I? Yeah, sure you won. But you gotta learn to ride a lot better than that if you want to stick in this racket. Never mind, kid. You did all right. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. We want money! My public. the race that lynched me. Hey, good night, youngster. You know that. It's nice going. Going. Done. Come on, Lack, I'll give you a lift home. You'll give me a lift. Well, what have I been giving you all night out there? <laughs> it's funny. What do you mean? You tell me. Come on. Ah, uh, go away, will you? I'm gonna get blue drunk. Blue. Come on. All right. I'll take care of him. Get him out of here. Come on, let's all have another drink. Three large scotches. A small beer for me, please. Tommy, I was gonna tell you. What's eating you? Scotch leg. You know Pat doesn't like it. Why do I care what she likes? Lee, could I have your autograph, please? Oh, go away, will you? Flag. Spoil the victim. There he is. He's a grandkid. He's the best novice I've seen this season. He thinks he's only got to learn how to ride. He'll learn. He'll find out. I'll come and wear these drinks. No more for you tonight, lad. Oh, Pat, Pat, I want you to meet the newest cobra, Bill Fox. He's just one race old. This, this is Pat, my sister. Pleased to meet you. Tommy, why did you let him? Come on, lag. I haven't finished my drink. All right, drink it up and let's go. Tommy, help me to get him home, will you? Yeah, sure, Pat. Come on, lag, old man. Let's go. All right. Good night, cobra. Good night. Good night. Good night. One, two, three, four. They are four quid for two minutes' work. More than Dad gets in a week. I don't want it. Why not? It's money, isn't it? I earned it. Only way of earning money. <laughs> you think I've done something wrong? It is wrong. And take that hat off in the house. What's wrong about it? I don't like it. It's not steady. It's like any other job. Except I shall get somewhere now. Where? Hospital? Well, it's better than Dick sticking out his neck for nothing. That's different. Not the same thing at all. You mean you don't even want to take the money? I'll take it. When do you get the next? Well, I don't know yet. Here. You better have some for yourself. That'll be enough. Thanks, Ma. Along, eh? They're not bad going for a couple of months. Much better than those new forks, Taff. Aye, man, I thought it would be. Yeah, well, that's enough for today. Come on, let's go out to the club. Now, look, the thing to remember is when you come out of your bend, you want to keep your weight. 
Colette, come over and meet the press. Uh, you go ahead. I'll, I'll be with you in a second. Hello, Jimmy. Hi, Alec. Hi, boy. How's the beer? Right. Got a gun, is it? Mm. Hello. Good to you. Good luck. Mind if I join you? No. Ta. You're Bill Fox, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, have some tea. I just had some coffee. <laughs> that's all right. Have some more. Uh, Well, we'll build it as the Evening Echo Championship, then. OK. I'll fix it with my editor. How's it going, Lag? Any better? Uh, it's just a bad patch. I'll be all right. Everybody has them. Sure, they do. Just your want to speak. Well, see you two boys in the finals. So long. Goodbye, Jimmy. Bye. So long. Cigarette? No, thanks. I don't smoke. No. Oh. You rode well last week, I'm told. Oh, nothing to it. Just small time stuff. And you're going to be big time. Yeah, if I get a break. It's like Speedway. No, not very much. Oh, but it's a great sport. If you can ride, you can go a long way. I know. What did you do before you started riding? Oh, I was in a factory. I soon hopped out of that, though. I want to get somewhere, see? I don't want to stick in a rut. You've got to take chances to get on in this world. OK, I'll take them. I'm sure you'll get what you want. Do you think so? I was telling Tommy I'm going to put young Fox in the elimination heats. Yeah, how about that, Lang? Are you ready? Oh, I think he's coming along. I'm sure he is. Anyhow, it won't do us any harm to build up a few new names. You fellas won't last forever. I don't know. I don't like it. Put those boys out there before they're ready, and they're a danger to everybody on the track, mostly to themselves. It's suicide. Listen, this boy's got something. The girls will go for her. After all, I gotta remember the customers. I don't care about that. Kid can ride, that's all that matters. What do you do? I'm in a typing agency. Oh. This your day often? Mm hmm. Do you go out much? Now and again. Would you come out with me sometime? Yes. I'd love to. Would you really? Hmm. Glad you came out with me. Mm. So am I. <laughs> Can't do it. Look, oh, it's a bad one. Just one more left. Oh, go on. I can't. <laughs> Coming out with me again? Going to ask me again. Yes. Why? I've never met a girl like you before. What am I like? I don't know. You're like... She's coming, Dad. Oh, body boy, lovely, lovely. Come on, come on, then hurry up.
for the season. How is he? Can I see him? Nice writing, boy. You did fine. Thanks. Sorry about like that. He was good to me. Just bad luck. It wasn't your fault. You got it, boy. That's what Lag would say, wouldn't he? Do you think so? Yes. Now go out and sign those autographs. They're waiting for you. Go on. You're going to be a star.
Come in. Ah, the Wonder Man. Now, what about a drink, eh? Now, just you relax. Take it easy, sit back, and I'll whip you up with this. Whiskey, sir? Yeah, large ones, twice times. Thanks. You better do something about Derek. What's the matter now? He's got loose again. I'll murder that kid if Robin sees him. Captain! Oh, Captain, my Captain, our fearful trip is done. The ship has weathered every rack. The prize we sought is won. All right, boy, no, come on. No, no, come on now, the go. bells I hear, yeah. the people oh, all I exulting, the while follow eyes the steady oh, keel, the vessel of oh, Griff and Daring. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry about that. It's all right. A drink? Good. That'll make it easier. Make what easier? Getting acquainted, of course. You think that's going to be difficult? Would my card help you? Right. I'm sorry, I haven't got a card. What have you got that you think might interest me? Shall we take stock? I'm Bill Fox. Really? I'm the Speedway star. How interesting. I've never known a Speedway star before. What do you call when you're at home? My name? Dorothy Elizabeth. My intimates call me Dotty Liz. It's very nice. How many of those have you got? I never had much of a head for figures. Can you put me on the list? Usually I demand references. Good. I'll bring mine along. Along where? Wherever we're going. Are we going somewhere? We're not going to stay here, are we? I haven't finished my drink, Mr. Fox. I always like to finish my drink. Something you must learn to remember. some drinks over there. Exciting, isn't it? What's it meant to be? Oh, we'll talk about it sometime. Now, what about these drinks? What's this? That? Oh, just a photograph. I went to the Nuremberg Rally last year. It was a wonderful experience. They were charming to me. I've got a brother fighting the sword in Spain. Really? How thrilling. I don't thrill that way. Oh. What's the matter? Why so bedraggled? Come on, darling. Put it down. Doesn't mean anything anymore. It's all over. What'd you keep it for, then? Does everything have to have a reason? Come on, sit down and be comfortable. Done. You haven't finished your drink. Darling, you know I never touch the stuff. Season with that motor man, I reckon you'll be round the first bend before the rest out of the starting gate. Better be, of course, you know. I've been checking the frame. It's out of line. Oh, no. 
Well, don't you touch it. I like it. She suits me just as she is. Hang away, then. Hi, uh, Tommy. Have a good time, Tommy? Ah, gay party. Vous êtes très joli, Taffy. Voulez-vous parler-moi d'amour? Hmm? <laughs> okay. Thanks. Very good. I just haven't got time to chew it. How are you, Bill? All right. How's, uh, Daddy? Oh, she's all right. You can ask yourself tonight. We're having a party. Yeah? Yeah. We have three a week. You're invited. Oh, well, uh, what time does this shim dig start? Oh, any time. You go on. I've got some work to do. Well, don't be late for your own party. Well, as I was saying, you see, the track's 12 miles long, nine miles this side, and uh, three this. Uh, it's sort of rectangular. You follow me? And of course, they don't allow any more than just 70 riders in the race at one time, because that'd be dangerous. Oh, that sounds practically thrilling. Oh, it is. Especially on Mother's Night. Mother's Night? Yes, that's when each rider has to do uh, 15 laps with his mother balanced on the handlebars. <laughs> Excuse me. Nice drinks you serve here, ma'am. Tommy, I'm getting tired of waiting. That's the best offer I've had all day. No, I'm serious. What does he think he's doing? Where is he? Search me. I left him down at the track. He might at least be on time for his own party. My dear, quite the most exquisite day. Old breakfast, mother, and a little fresh ball. Look at him. <laughs> My dear, surely, man, there are times when turning can be quite deliciously devastating. Oh, you speedway star, you. You're wonderful, just wonderful. Nice friends you have. Daddy's been looking for you. There's fire in her eyes. What are you hiding in here for? And you're late. That's right, I'm late. What's the matter? Mr. Posse then rose and left the room, making a dignified procession of what? Bill Dowling. What about that crowd out there? Oh, what's the trouble? Listen to me. Now look, Bill. You look. They're a bunch of fakes. No goods. Get them out of here. They're my friends, you know. If they're fake, so am I. Well? Now, listen, you little flash boy. I'm getting tired of you and your attitude. What is this you're my woman business? I'm nobody's woman. Understand that. Come on, darling. Get them out. Where do you think you are? Wandsworth Road? Wandsworth Road could teach Mayfair a couple of things. Then why don't you go back there? Why don't you just take your noisy little machine and get out and stay out if we're not good enough for you? Go on, get out! You, Speedway star. What do you think I get out of you? Where's Laughing Boy off to? He's walked out on me. That make you mad? No. I like independent men. That's one you'll never see again. <laughs>
that's a lot now, John? That's a lot. Mom! Oh, Bill. Here, yeah, what's the matter? It's your brother, Dick. I can't find him nowhere. Well, perhaps you'll come by another train, eh? No, they said they was all here. Oh, come on now, come on. Look, if anything had happened, we should have heard, wouldn't we? Come on, I'll take you home, eh? There you are. All right? in that way. I've been to Spain, Ma. No, you know, I don't mean that. At the station. Oh, I don't know. When I saw the band and all that nonsense, I, I ducked out quick and caught a bus. You bad boy. You are scaring the life out of me. I ought to spank you like I used to when you was a kid. Hello, Bill. You're looking fine. I'm okay. Good to see you home again. What a family gathering. What with his nibs and all. What do you say we go out and celebrate somewhere, eh? On me. Home's good enough, isn't it? Or used to be. Anyway, I'm on night shift. Time I went. This is an occasion. Take the night off. A job's a job, son. You'll learn that one day. Yes, come on, Dad. Tommy, we're off. Thanks, Mark. Not bad. Good night, Dad. Well, good night, all. Good night. Good night. Oh, uh, there's a letter up there for you, Bill. Came some time ago, but we didn't know where to send it. Come on, Dick. Let's see the other things you brought back. Presents. That's all the struggle for democracy means to you. Oh, there's a pipe for Bill. What are we giving it to him? Here's a shawl for Mark. Oh, that's lovely. She like that. And here's a bottle of real old brandy to celebrate with on Sunday. Oh. Like it here. Yeah? It's all right. At least there's no one to bother you. Are you barmy? It's quiet here, I tell you. I'm sorry, Lag. I didn't mean it like that. It's all right, Bella. I'm sorry. I, I just had a sort of a nervous breakdown, that's all. Yes, I know, but this place is no cure for that. The sooner you get out of it, the better. Besides, you've got to practice before the new season starts. No reason why I shouldn't have a rest, is there? Lag, are you scared to ride again? What are you doing here? Just trying to get Lag out of this place. After all this time, we should be grateful. Oh, leave him alone, Pat. I told you before it was a fair race. You don't think I did it on purpose, do you? Of course he didn't. Now forget it, sis. All right. I'm sorry. Well, the point is now, what do we do about Lag? It's no good arguing with him. I've done all I can. Pat, we've been all over this a hundred times. I'm not going back. I like it here. Now, will you two leave me alone? That's for lunch. You'll have to go now. Bill, take Pat off somewhere and get her a meal, will you? I... Okay, chum. Well, Pat, what about it? All right. So long, Nick. 
So long, Bill. Thanks for coming. Goodbye, Leg. Bye, Pat. Sorry I blew up. That's all right. Goodbye, dear. See you tomorrow. Good morning, Miss Gibbon. Good morning, Doctor. He's feeling much better these days. Doctor, if there's anything I can do, I've left my address in the office. Well, it's just a matter of time now, I think. I hope so. Yes. Good morning. just doesn't seem to be quite with you. And you put him there. Well, it's all part of the game. I've had my share of the spills. It might have been me. And what are you so head up about, then? Oh, I don't know. Him being shut away there, never seeing anyone. I wonder what they do for money. Wasn't he insured? Yes, you've got to be. With all those bills, he must be getting pretty short. Oh, I don't know what you've been up to all this time, and it's only now that you go and see him. Well, you did, I just didn't think. No, you didn't think. What do you think about? If you dirt check puppets ever slow down long enough to think, you might realize what a crowd of mugs you are. What do you mean? Well, take leg. What'll happen to him now? If he does get out of that loony bin, he's finished, isn't he? You take your chance. Yeah, and the same thing's likely to happen to all of you sooner or later. Why don't you blokes smarten up and organize yourselves? We've got the association. Most of the riders belong to it. What do you mean, dirt track puppets? I mean you go around that track on strings. Who do you think you're working for, yourselves? You make money, a lot of it, too. But where do you think the really big money goes? We do all right. It's just a sport, that's all. In Spain, they call bullfighting a sport. It's a blood sport. And Speedway's not, you believe that? No, oh, I know. For you, it's just a job. For all you riders, a way to make a living. But the crowd? You don't think they want to see you smash yourself up? Don't kid yourself. They want to see you swept up into little pieces. You want to come out from behind those flesh bulbs sometime and take a look at their faces. All of them. The kids worse than the men and the women worst of all. They love it. Now, oh, what's the matter with you guys? This is nothing new, is it? Is there anyone here who hasn't got his neck stuck out a mile? This ain't no nursery, you know. We're in it for the dough, and to get it, you gotta ride hard. And if you ride hard, you gotta take chances. He was a good kid, and it's too bad, that's all. Okay, Johnny, that's enough. What if it was you? Well, what if it was me? You haven't got any kids anyway. What about Derek? If Charlie's got kids, Joe's got kids, Pete's got... What happens, son? That's what I want to know. I'll get the insurance. And a nice little subscription, too. Charity. How long's that gonna last? Say, what's your angle? Since when have you been interested in anybody else's little troubles? I reckon it isn't enough, see? I want protection, not a benevolent society. Protection for riders and riders' families when they get hurt. We're not being treated fair. After all, who brings the money into this racket? We do. We got the association. Bring it up at the next meeting. What for, to negotiate? Well, what's the alternative? A new union, a better one, one that'll give us a fair deal. And who's gonna farm it? Well, those at the top. You. All of us. Me. We well tonight, boys. You're on a bonus. Well, tell me. Run the list for Derek, will you? Put the management down for a couple of hundred.
Well, that's that. I know. Darling, don't let... It's all right, Pat. I'm okay. Come on. Let's go for a walk. I'm not very good company tonight, I'm afraid. You are a fool to get mixed up with a speedway rider. I know I am. Why don't you just turn it in, then? Because I don't want to. Because I can't. Now, a few words from our very good friend, the chairman of the Cobra Syndicate, Mr. Christopher Yates. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, bride and bridegroom, there is little one can say that's original on an occasion like this, because, as you probably noticed, people make a habit of this fine old custom of marriage. <laughs> I'm always telling my colleagues to try and get it into their heads that our job is people. Whether you deal in big crowds, 30 or 40,000 at a time, they're still people. And what they want is the same as we all want. Dash and glamour, and we needn't be ashamed to say it, courage. Yeah, yeah. What a nice man. And that's why I'm drinking to the health of Bill Fox. Yeah, yeah. There is only one phrase I can think of to sum up Bill Fox. He's got what it takes. Bill Fox and his very charming bride. Bill Fox. Bill Fox. Well, uh, thank you very much. You've uh, you've all been very kind. There's uh, there's just one thing that hasn't been said. There's one name that hasn't been mentioned here today. Lag Gibbon. My. Uh, my wife's brother. All right, let's drink to Lag. Okay, we'll drink to Lag in a minute when I've had my say. Pete's sake. Lag Gibbon was the first chap I met on Speedway. He gave me my start. He showed me all the tricks. Today, it's thumbs up. I'm the star. And Lag? Lag's down at the bottom, forgotten. That's what your dash and your glamour and your courage means. Us cutting each other's throats to give the crowd a thrill and fill a few pockets. Speaking for myself, quite personally, I'm fed up with being nothing but a, a dirt track puppet. There's nothing wrong with Speedway, providing the riders have fair play and security all round. That's what I aim to get. What I want is a real union. One that's 100% strong and able to stand up to the big men like you, Mr. Yates. That'll give us what we're entitled to have. Security for ourselves and our families and a fair slice of the profits. If we get that, we're sitting pretty. Well, say something, darling. <laughs> That's enough. I don't get it. What's he up to? Up the by the fourth. You really did it this time, didn't you, Pops? How do you like it out there in the rain? And now, ladies and gentlemen, I vote we all move out and enjoy a little swing. Well, I must be going, Mrs. Fox. Goodbye. Goodbye, Fox. Nice party. Thanks. By the way, Mr. Yates sent Lag a check for 500 pounds last night to take him back to Australia. What you might like to know.
1.3 seconds. Second, Tommy Parsi. Third, Buster Crowley. Ready, Rotor Boy. Well, that was a 5 1 win for the Cobras, but they would still lead by 41 points to 37 with one heat to go. Fox, I've been watching you. You're not doing so well. What do you mean I'm not doing so well? Where have you been? Up in a bow with a blonde? You know I don't like blonde. And you know very well I'm riding my best. That's the trouble. Team 14, you riders are always the same. Program. What are you getting at? Well, when they think they stink, they start putting some guts into it start getting cocky. They may not know it, but they're on their way out. Maybe you would take a week off. You need rest. Come here, Rotten. What do you mean, come here, Rotten? What makes you so anxious suddenly about my health? I'd like to see my boys going stale. Stale my foot! I'm just giving you a week off, that's all. But when I want time, I'll take it. Either I ride when I like or I don't ride at all, see? Suit yourself. We'd like you to come and ride for us, Bill. Maybe we can arrange it. Yes? What about his contract? Well, what about it? I'm captain of the Ilford team, and I'm asking you. If you don't want him to ride for you, Look, then... I'm manager of this team, and I'm telling you. He rides when I say, and how I say, and where I say. Otherwise, he doesn't ride at all. Take it easy, Wallace. Relax. Okay, right now we'll take a rest. You'll come crawling to get me back in a week. You shouldn't worry yourself like this. What am I supposed to do? Break it a song? Bill, I've been thinking. This new union, even if it was a good idea... Well, of course it's a good idea. But if the other riders won't support it, you can't do it by yourself. Do you remember you and Lag once talked about starting a garage? You could do it, darling. You know you could. Hey, look, I've told you ten times already, it's no good. That's Tommy. Hi, Tommy. Hello, Bill. Hi, Pat. Hi, Tommy. Any news? Uh, yes. Well, what is it? Well, I'm afraid the boys won't take it, Bill. They just won't play. Well, why not? Well, are they scared or something? I must finish upstairs. I'll be down in a minute to make some tea. Come on out with it. My advice to you is to forget the whole thing. What do you mean? It's just not a good idea, that's all. The boys think the present association's doing okay. It works wonders. Well, all right, but that's the way they feel. And well, what about you? It doesn't make any difference what I think. Or well, you either. You just haven't got a chance. <laughs> I might have guessed this had happened. Nobody will back me up because they're all too scared. They'd rather lick the management's boots for the rest of their lives than stand up and demand their rights. Oh, now, wait a minute, Bill. It's true, isn't it? It doesn't matter what they're worth. They just take what's doled out to them. And if they're nice little boys... Listen, can... Bill, you don't know what you're talking about. No. Must make it pretty easy riding for you without me, doesn't it? All right, big shot. I'll let that one ride for now and level with you. The boys won't line up behind you because they don't know where you want to take them. They doubt your motives. They think you're not so much out for a square deal all around as a big deal for yourself. In a word, they think you're a phony. I didn't want to say that, but you wanted to hear it. The best thing for you to do is to see Rotten. You either play ball with him or you're not in the game at all. Rotten isn't the only one in the game anyway. Look, Bill, there's something else I... No, no, never mind. Tell Pat I'm sorry I had to shove off. Hello? Yes? 
Yep. Hello, Briggs. Hello, Johnny. How are you? I was expecting you to call. But you said you could fix it. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I didn't know you were going to ride for Johnny. That dirty double dealing. Bill, why didn't you tell me? Doesn't make any difference now, does it? Routon and Yates have fixed that. What are you going to do? Darling, why don't we talk about the other thing, the garage? Everyone knows the name of Bill Fox. We've got enough saved to make oh. us... Oh. I've got a wonderful idea. What? We're moving, clearing out. Clearing out? Where? To the States. I've always wanted to go there, now's our chance. You're not serious. Well, of course I'm serious. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. I'm fed up with this place. The sooner we get out of it, the better. What do you do in America? Well, Speedway, of course. I can't believe you mean it. We'll see whether I mean it or not. We should be there inside a month. Bill, listen. Where's the phone book? Listen to me. I won't do it. I won't go with you, and I won't let you go. It's not you. It's... Are you going back on me, too? Nobody's going back, and you're going back on yourself. You always have, you always will. What's the matter with you? How can you say we're leaving for the States just like that? That looks bad. Don't be so silly. You don't care what I think or want. You don't care about a home or a decent life. Nothing but yourself. I never said anything. I never asked anything of you. But at least I'll tell you how I feel. All these months, every time you raced, every time there was a crash, I was the one who died. Why do you think I stood in the stands and watched you? Only because it was even worse not being there. Listen, Bill. I'm warning you. If you do go to America, if you go back to Speedway at all, you go alone. I shan't be with you. Oh, yes, you will. You'll be with me because you belong to me, whether you like it or not. I'll soon change your mind for you. Don't you worry about it anymore. <laughs> BBC Home Service. Here is the news, copyright reserved.
Today, Germany invaded Poland. The fighting of a serious character has continued all day on the whole length of the Polish-German front. Listeners will already have heard. This country has been at war with Germany since 11 a.m. Last night, the Royal Air Force reconnoitred extensive areas of northern and western Germany. They flew unmolested and dropped six million leaflets in Germany. That the decision of Japan to remain neutral was officially announced today in a statement by General Nobuyuki. Here is the news. Please make quite sure that what you have done to obscure your lights is completely effective by going out... I tell you, this is no time to be leaving home, Tommy boy. What do you mean, leaving home? I'm going home. I got better things to do than get mixed up in some war. Life's too short. But after being here so long with all the Look, boys... Look, chum, you crazy English... Welsh! All right, Welsh, then. It's all the same. You're always having a war. Okay, go ahead and have it. Me? I ain't mad at nobody. Hello, Mrs. Fox. Hello, Taffy. Hello, Tommy. Hello, Pat. It's nice to see you. I've been wondering how you were. Oh, I'm all right. When do you go? Tuesday. I wanted to have a talk with you. Okay, Tommy, I'll fix up the other crate later on. So long, Mrs. Fox. What is it, Pat? I'm looking for Bill. Have you seen him? No. Have you tried his folks? They don't know where he is. You suppose he went after all or to the States, I mean? I don't see how he could have now. What are you going to do? I put my name down for the WAPs. <laughs> Hero, huh? But I, I've got to know where he is. See, he's my next of kin. I don't want to put a dress unknown. Well, wherever he is, I hope he gets what's coming to him. That is an explanation of the controls. I will now go through them again slowly. The clutch, the exhaust valve lifter, the ignition, the air, the throttle, and the front brake. Now, to start the machine, stand up and lean it slightly to the left. Lift the exhaust valve lift, and without losing balance, give a long swinging kick. Now, to move off, sit down, disengage the clutch, engage first gear with the toe, release the clutch slowly. Are we disturbing you at all? Hmm? Are we disturbing you at all? No. What's your name, boy? Boxer. Right, Fox, you can demonstrate to the class what I've just been teaching them. Here you are. Take it away. I wonder what it's going to be like. My brother fought out in Spain. He said in a real battle, never to go and find out what was happening. Where is he now? The dick, he's out east. Ah, that's the place. Better than Africa. Whereabouts? Singapore. Hmm. You worried, Dougie? Yeah. Aren't you? Oh, I don't know. No, of course, you're used to taking chances. It was part of your job, really, wasn't it? A bit different in a furniture shop. Were you afraid of getting killed? Hmm. Well, some of the chaps, they don't seem to worry very much. They are heroes, I suppose. But I'm not. I don't want to pass out just yet. Not if I can help it, I don't. Supposing you sort of, uh, you know, lost a couple of arms or something? Yes, but when you've got something to live for. You know, sometimes, in the middle of the night, suddenly I wake up and I start thinking. Worrying about Marjorie and the kids. Miss the kiddies, you know. Not seeing them growing up. Well, she says I'm always worried. Funny, last time I was home, I wanted to go out and buy her something. Some little thing for her to keep. Well, I went round all the shops around our way. I didn't know what to get. 
In the end. Do you know what I took her home in the end? No, what? A canary. Just an ordinary little canary. In a cage. And do you know, all that time I was home, I didn't sing once. Perhaps it will when it gets used to the place. Not a squeak out of it. Oh, silly, isn't it? There's nothing silly about it. When I come to think of it, I had everything a chap could ask for. Well, almost everything. The job's nothing to shout about, but we had all we wanted out of it. House, kids. Everything was all right. Then this thing has to start up. This bloody war. You can't get them all back again. Who starts wars, anyway? They're going on there about the Nazis and Germans and whatnot. But they're not the only ones. We've all got something to do with it. Do you know what I think? There's some people, and they're never satisfied. And they're the ones, really, because they're always looking for trouble. I can't make it out. It doesn't make sense to me. This isn't my good one. I keep my good one for fighting. Of course, I have most of my medals on the yellow one. I thought this wasn't going to be your war. Followed me home. There's a war here. I go home to sit the war out. There's a war there. Getting so the fellow can't find a quiet piece of it. Mmm. Careful, Tom. She's an officer. What makes you think I can't take orders? Tommy, you're incurable. I know. What's happened to the band? Going to the front? Oh, hello. Want me? Enjoying yourself? I'm on duty. You're wanted in the orderly room, Fox. I think it's important. Is it bad, bad news? He's been wounded. Taken prisoner. Get 
how it happened, Mrs. Lewis. He could have got away, but he came back to get me. My husband was a good man, Mr. Fox. I'm really proud of him. Yes, I know. I lost someone, too. My brother. Must be pretty hard for you, natural by yourself, isn't it? It was at first. Very hard. At first, we didn't know how it is. There were so many things to do. You see, with Ducky gone, the children needed twice as much from me. There were so many things he wanted for them. Home, proper care, a good education. And I can give them those things. Well, there's anything that I could... No. You're very kind, but we're really quite all right. Well, I... I'd like to come back and see the children, if I may, sometime. Well, Sunday's the only day we're all home together. I wish you would. Any Sunday. So it sings all right, then? Yes, it sings. Are you married, Mr. Fox? Ducky like never told me. Uh, yes, I am. Have you any children? No. Well, please give my regards to your wife. Yes, I will. Well, goodbye, Mrs. Lewis. Goodbye. Thank you. You wait in here, please. It's a nice engage with the client. He won't be a moment. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. It's good to see you again. Nice to see you. Down. Cigarette? No, thanks. I still don't smoke. What's Lag doing now? He's sheep for me. Oh. Never thought we'd meet in a place like this. Where did you think we'd meet? I don't know. It's... It's been so long. Yes. Seen Tommy? Not for quite a while. He was with me the night the telegram came. He'd come to a dance. He was in one of those uh, fortress squadrons, wasn't he? Yes. They're pretty good, those characters. I remember they once went over the stalag, we... Tommy's manager of the track now. I didn't know. Are you riding again? Oh, I don't know. I haven't made up my mind yet. Bill, will you tell me something? What? You do think it's best settled this way, don't you? Whatever you say. We tried. We... Ah, Mr. Fox, good afternoon. They told me you were here. Sorry to have kept you waiting. How do you do, Mr. Fox? How do you do? Now, let's get down to business, eh? Most of the children. Are you going on with it? Yep. Did you see Pat? Yeah, just for a minute. She looked very well. And you said nothing to her? What could I say? She wants the divorce. Mum, I, uh, I went to see Mrs. Lewis this morning. Oh, how was she? All right. Not a bit like I thought she'd be. A team they must have made. Do you know what she said? With Dougie gone, the kids need twice as much, she said. So it's up to me to work twice as hard. Funny, isn't it? Makes you feel ashamed, doesn't it? You don't understand us women, do you, Bill? No. We've got different ideas to you men. Here. Come to the window a minute. Look. <laughs> you see, Bill, most of our lives we're having babies. Feeding them, watching over them as they grow up. 
But mouse meant different. Seems like there was something more selfish, more distractive about him. Do you mean like war and all that? Sometimes it's war. It was with Dick, bless him. But sometimes it's other things. Success. Excitement, like you and your motorbike, for instance. Yeah. What's the matter? Well, there's something I've got to tell you. What? They want me to go back to the track. Who wants you? Tommy Posse. He's manager of the Cobras now. You're not going, are you? What am I supposed to do, Mum? It's the only job I know. It's the thing I'm best at. Job? How can you talk like that? Three months you've been out, and all that time you've done nothing to find work. Bill, what's wrong? What is it that makes you not care about anything anymore? Bill, you're not going, are you? What was your trade? Mr. Fox? Well, I haven't got one. Before the war, I was... You were in the armed forces? Yes, army. But you've no actual civilian experience. I was in a factory once. In what capacity? Uh, we made electric light bulbs. Can't you return to your old employer? Oh, it was almost ten years ago. No other experience. I was in Speedway. Big one? Speedway. Speedway. I was a rider. Speedway rider. I'll just make a note of that, if I may. Well, I don't think that'll help very much. You see, all I wanted was information. About what sort of job I could do, or what sort of jobs were going. I see. But you've got no training for any particular trade. No. There are training schemes, of course. Intensive schemes which could fit you for a given trade in a given period of time. For example, the plumber's trade. The present scarcity of plumbers... I think that's quite in my line. But you haven't got a line, Mr. Fox. That's what we're trying to find for you. I mean, what would I earn? Would I be able to live on it? The wages vary with the category of training. What was your income before the war? Well, it was pretty high. I, I couldn't expect anything like that again. No, Mr. Pearson, I'm afraid... But what precisely did your earnings come to? I must have some idea. Oh, it sort of varied from season to season. Mr. Fox, I've no wish to pry into your private affairs. They're no concern of mine. But unless you give me some idea of the scale of wages to which you've been accustomed... Say 90 quid a week. Of course, the pound was worth a lot more then. Any bullet's a good go. Union's doing a good job now. Strong. If anything, a little too strong. That's the manager in me. But no kidding, Bill. It's a better racket. No dealing off the bottom these days. Not so much dog eat dog. And we need writers bad. Six years. I may have lost everything I had. You don't lose it. I'd like to have another crack at it. Mm, you'd be rusty, son. You'll need practice. Lots of it. I tell you, Bill, things have changed. The sport's growing. We've got twice as many fans now. And there are a new generation of writers coming up. But there's no reason why you shouldn't be a star again, if you want to. Main thing is, what'll you do if you don't? Think of the dough. Yeah. Maybe I'll change, too. Maybe I wouldn't get the same kick out of it anymore. Look, Bill. There's not much wrong with Speedway. It's a good enough sport. Like anything else, it all depends on how you go at it. Most people make a good, clean life out of it. Others muck it up. Take it over.
No, he's not here. He's at the stadium. Come in. Now, listen, chum, for Pete's sake, don't go and kill yourself in a practice. Look, Tommy, I can still ride. The last three days have taught me that. As long as I'm out on the track alone, I'm all right. But I'm not going to captain this team until I can beat the best rider you've got. You can beat this kid, all right. He's good, but you can beat him. OK, I'll beat him. Hey, check, check, check. Cut that noise out. You ready? Yep, all set. Hiya. Hi. White leathers, eh? I used to wear them. I know, you were wearing them the first time I saw you. That was a long while ago. I was pretty young then. How old are you now, Grandpa? Twenty. Twenty. Oh, good. I was wrong. I knew I was wrong when he made the solicitor. I want him back. I love him. I hate the track and I hate the things he does and the way he doesn't believe in anything. I do love him. I thought he'd be changed, that he'd want a new life, that he'd try to build a new life. Yes, we thought that too. And I thought I might be able to shock him, to make him think I could do without him for the rest of my life. Perhaps he does. But it isn't true. If I could do without him, if I could ever love anyone else. I know. I understand. I only wish I could say he deserved you. The bikes are ready. All right. Come on, let's get out there. How is he? Oh, you can take the pants off that boy any time he likes. Don't you think so? I don't know. Bill was a good rider once, but that was a long time ago. Chick's pretty hot, too. Don't you forget that. Come on, let's get out. We'll toss for it. Call it. Tails. Heads. I'll take the outside. Give him go with your tap. Watch him, boy. He's good. Okay, Tommy, don't worry. I'll be all right. Yep. Come on, let's get going. All right.
59 seconds dead. It sets up a new track record. You're in, boy, you're in. You're as good as ever. You're going to be a star again, Bob. Just like old times it will be. Yeah, thanks. No, Tommy, I, I think I've had enough. I'm packing in. Well, what are you talking about? What are you going to do? I think I'll go straight. You know what I mean. <laughs> 